What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're watching another Beta Squad video, and for once, it's the most recent one. It's, of course, smart for me to choose the most recent videos for the algorithm, but on top of that, I love comedians, and I just recently learned who Drewski is. I know, sorry. I just learned about him because I saw him with that sleepover with Kai and Kevin Hart. I actually saw some really funny clips of Drewski in those uh, viral videos, so I'm I'm excited to see what he brings to the table today, and I'm excited to do another guessing game with you guys. Three apps today, we brought out the handy dandy conversation starter website, and we've got the question, do you prefer to eat at home or eat out? This is such a good question because I truthfully like both a lot, but if I'm being honest, eating out is 100% my preference. My husband and I have gotten pretty good at making fire meals at the house. Like we both have a couple things that we're really good at and it's a great time when we do it, but there's nothing like going out to a restaurant, having the drinks brought to you, having a chef make your food, or even when I'm feeling like eating some junk food, running through the McDonald's drive through and getting those fries and a Coke handed to me. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. I get to have the good tasting food without the effort it takes to do it myself. This used to be especially true back in the day. I used to eat out all the time. In the last couple years, I definitely started eating at home a lot more. And it's a rewarding process, but you know, I'm a lazy girl at heart, so I'm gonna go with eating out. <laughs> if you've been here before, you know I'm an absolute flop when it comes to these things, but let's see if we can turn it around today. Let's go have some fun. Guess the Comedian, here we go. Today on Beta Squad, we're doing Guess the Comedian, and we've got yes, a very sir. special guest. Chunks! Hey. <laughs> they cloned him, they cloned him. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Drewski! Yeah. 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 yeah! Oh, you got two, you got yeah. two clones right Yeah, yeah I think they cloned him. Nah, he's, like, he's the American one. I'm, I'm the UK one. Guys, we opened the multiverse again and saw all the different types of chunks, and today, <laughs> we're going with this one. <laughs> Not the multiverse. Hope he's a bit funny. How can I come to UK without with the betas? I'm proud to be here, I'm excited. And they brought a real pro in. It's a be easy. How does it feel to hmm. be on a beta squad video? I know this is probably the highlight of your career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like <laughs> the biggest thing I've done to date. So yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Here are six people, and they are all came in to be comedians. However, only one of them is telling the truth. And it's our job to find out who that real comedian is. Round by round, we'll be voting one person out at a time. And if we guess yep. correct, we win. But if we guess wrong, the liars will win a cash prize. This is False Identity. All right, so let's jump into round one. Please bring out the comedians. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Right. Hang on a second. No, it's definitely not that guy. Either. He looks like a shit politician. We're off rip. Somebody smell like shit. Somebody stink. I, I smell like a, uh, it's like a cum smell. <laughs> Number two, oh. like, we just brought him from 100 BC and we just said, <laughs> come back. Come it's like, back. Yeah, it's like it was a caveman, had one day to get used to the world. You get it? The lineup was interesting. We had um, an archaic man from the, the caveman days. Uh, and then obviously uh, Obama. Number three looks like he could even be 16 or 40. Obama. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't work it out. Yo, enough of him, man. I know he's easy. That's an easy target, but like, yo, come on, man. My first thoughts on these people is they all look a bit funny, but just because you look funny, it doesn't mean that you're funny. AJ's the prime example of that. And then number six? He's fresh. He's just one of those. Number one agrees with that. Ah, uh, <laughs> Number one, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm uh, Tyson Bradley. Thank and... you, man. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you know, we, we don't want to, we don't going to give a whole spill. We just, let's get into it, right? Number one, I've seen that man before. I did a comedy club video back in the day, and he was one of the performers. Ooh. Could you introduce yourself to the camera? Yeah, so I'm uh, Tyson Bradley. Which might mean he's the comedian. But before I tell oh. the guys, I just want to watch him a bit. Number two, number two. Let's My name is Guy Flores. I'm from Brazil. Number three. My name is Yarde Joba, and I'm from Oxfordshire. Yeah, of course. Okay. So when Drewski got on that flight, I'm pretty sure Obama got on it too, because there ain't no way that this guy's not Obama. He just changed <laughs> his name so he can try to get re-elected here. I'm Peter <laughs> Flanagan. Peter Flanagan. That's me. Peter Flanagan. That sounds like a comedian yeah, name. It, 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 it kind of does, does. Flanagan, yeah. it's me. Yeah. My name is Samuel Colton White. No, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, no, we didn't go to five. We, we didn't go didn't to five. Hold on. Right. We can't we follow directions. Come down. 
Should we just skip him for now? Yeah, we'll come back to him after. Yeah. Go, we'll move on to number six. You're using the privilege there. That's what you were doing. 22 from South East London. Didn't ask that though. And what's your name, your name? Gabriel. Gabriel, yeah. And now we're going to go to number five. And my name is Samuel Cochrane White. White. We knew that. <laughs> <laughs> One to six, just let us know how long you guys have been doing comedy for. Got into comedy five years ago. About 10 years. I've been doing this for almost four years. Uh, how long you been, no, not how long you been running for president. I've been doing stand-up <laughs> eight years. Oh, I started six years ago. Six years. Six years. Six years. And I started okay. two years ago. That doesn't help me with shit. No, it does help. If you've been on doing it for a long time, you should have some type of stage presence. You should True. be confident. Anyone that looks a bit timid, mm. Mm. should be nervous. I, I agree, agree with that. I, that's, no, that's good observation. Yeah, that's fact. So I'm he, getting he, nervy vibes from Samuel White. Maybe that's just his character. Though. Maybe, maybe he's, just he's never been in a room with this much black people, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say that. Yeah. And he's even yeah, loving as well. He's lost his mind now. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, yeah, that's true. There's something about number five that doesn't sit right with me. The way he's got his jumper tucked into his belt. I'm just like nervous it's a facade, you know? Like I'm nervous that he's the comedian. Yeah, this is how I always get got, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, looking at him looks nervous. Like, if you were a comedian and you're up on stage and you're cracking jokes, like, you probably wouldn't be nervous. But baby's trying to throw us off, you know? I'm I'm, I'm feeling nervous about number five right now. Well, Very well, nervous. I mean, we could pick someone out this round. But let's see. next round, we're going to see all of them perform yeah, their sets. Yeah, perform let's not take anybody out. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's keep them off. We need to see a bit of their comedy. I'm all they've excited. really done is introduce themselves. So I think it's better right now if we keep them all in until the next round, where we'll double skates two of them. Don't you do this every time? Yeah, we do do this every time, but there's no need to be disrespectful and, and call us out for that. <laughs> With that being said, let's move on to the next round and let's see some of these guys' sets. It's gonna be painful, man. Who do you, who do you want to see out of all of these guys first? You gotta say I want to see Obama first. Thank you, thank you. My girlfriend broke up with me and it was sad, but what didn't make it easier is that I started to receive a lot of online hate. One guy DM'd me and please guys, don't laugh. He DM'd me saying that I'm an Oreo. I'm black on the outside and I'm white on the inside. I was outraged. How did he know that I crumble and break away after a split? <laughs> Thank you. What? Okay, okay. All right. All right. All right. I don't think he... <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> no. What the hell was I that? Didn't like that? was that. a car crash. No, but the way he's leaving the next round, it's leaving. Yeah. yeah. No, no, he's gone. Yeah, I, I don't really know, too. Yeah, the, the whole Oreo thing, I don't... No, Speechless. He, he's not a comedian. <laughs> All right, Drew's next, next, next. I want green, green supreme right now. Are you scored? We good? Yeah. We good? Okay. Right. I like to give a bit of warm up, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. crowd work, I like I'll, it. <laughs> I'll address the elephant in the room. Uh, I am a bit of a pussy magnet. Uh, unfortunately, I'm the side of the pussy magnet that repels. Yes, um, my parents haven't come to see me since I've started doing stand up. My mum has never come to any of my gigs. My dad has never come to any of my gigs. I think my dad just regrets coming in the first place. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Not bad, but your delivery stinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not bad, it's not bad. No, I didn't think that was bad. It all the way up there bad, to bring him back down. <laughs> I didn't think that was bad. Yeah. That, what he just did was so different than the energy he's giving while he's just like sitting there chilling. Um, so I feel like I might have been right for once. Say, let's continue on. Let him lie. I didn't think it was bad. The serial killer, number five, was actually <laughs> pretty funny, but the delivery was a bit too deadpan and it could have been better. So I'll just, I'll just be honest. I actually quite like number five and I think he's getting a hard time because I think, I think he's funny. I think he's a funny guy. That's I like that line. delivery. And Peter, we want to hear some more. Uh, well, I, I've recently moved to West London. For some... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> <laughs> Is West, no, is West no, London no, weird, no, bro? No, no, no. <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> yeah. right, Dude, that's crazy. Someone's gonna have to tell me what hey, West London man. is. You really, he might got a future. <laughs> hey, we gotta keep that. We gotta keep that. We gotta keep that. I mean, they're cracking up. Got it. There's something about him, hey, that West London. <laughs> He's killing it, man. This dude's so stupid. For real, man, I honestly, he got a future in comedy. He got a future in comedy. That West London joke gonna go far, boy. They might need to, he might need a Netflix special. He could do a Netflix special on that, boy. Who, who do y'all want now? Tasha Bradley, man. Cool. Yeah, uh, so, uh, yeah, so, I... <laughs> oh, he's not. This is not how I normally start a comedy gig, can I just say? Spit out. Stuttering. Speak.
You're a comedian. I know you guys are wondering which part of America I'm from, uh, but I'm actually from Canada. I actually did just get back from America. I got back from doing some shows in Florida, and I met some real red, white, and blue, God bless America, man. People were just like, man, if you prick me, I bleed red, white, and blue. I'm like, hey, if you prick me, I bleed COVID vaccines. Try that one, America. That was racist. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I do recognize Tyson Bradley a bit, but maybe we'll get into that a little bit later. Guy Florence? Yep. That me. was, I My mean... My name is Guy Flores. Eh. I am from Brazil. Hold on, do, do you speak English? <laughs> that, that's the joke. That's the joke. You guess my joke. I'll be like, when I came to this country, I could not speak English. That... Listen, sir, sir, sir. Good, good. Good, good. Sir, back, good. Yeah, he does. Guys, he doesn't come in. You know, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Was he speaking English or he? Went no, he was speaking English the whole time. Oh, he. Yeah, that was English, definitely. Uh, Another day, I was in Camden Town, yeah? Then I saw, I saw two black guys talk to each other doing those, you know, those gang style hip hop gesture, yeah? Then I thought, that is so cool. I have to talk to those black guys. So I went there, excuse me, black guys. Uh, I like the way you speak to each other doing those gang style hip hop gestures. So the black guy told me, excuse me, mates, we're not doing any gang style hip hop gesture. Oh, My brother is deaf. My brother is deaf. All right. Uh, Understands. All right. Yikes. All right. Why are you saying nah. black guys? And why are you saying hip hoppy? Like, where was it hip hoppy? Is that a new genre? Nah. No, it, it's getting a bit weird now. That was Number so six. good. Gabriel. Yeah. I'm going to tell you guys why you shouldn't trust Uncle. So far. We're gonna go back a little. I I think I want to see the lineup. Hold on. Brought this death. <laughs> All right. Uh, Understands. All right. All right. Show me why the Why are you group. saying black guys? And why are you saying hip hoppy? That like, did not flow. Yeah. Is that a new genre. Like it, it's getting a bit weird now. Number six. Okay. I think our best chance right now is actually number five. Number one, he kind of had like a comedian accent, like when he. He fumbled at first, but after he like started finally telling his joke, it like seems like he does it. I just don't know if he does it like professionally, you know? So I'm thinking number five so far. Let's see what number six has. Gabriel. Yeah, I'm gonna Let's tell go you guys Gabriel. why you shouldn't trust uncles from the ends. First started my gig on the social media on the come up. So the uncle must have clocked me on the end. He was just like, oh yeah, Gabriel, come. Come do, come do your show. 200 on the house, 200 on the house. End of the show, I go back to the kitchen. He was just like, nah. I met two Hunter for the, for, you know what I mean? I was like, what, what's this? He's like, two Hunter for, as an uncle, come on, man, you're playing games, man. You're not standing on biz, you know he what I mean, Drew? Happened last week. That's what you ain't said. standing on biz, Drew. <laughs> this isn't a set. I was like, 200 for what? He was like, 200 for mills in this house. You can come bring your friends and family, do 200 mil. I'm not giving you cash. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Was hang that on. it? Was there no punchline? No, no, finished, finished. Get him out of here right now. I said he weren't standing on biz, man. That yeah, was not good. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's security, yeah. Security, that's how bad it was, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was so bad you know, that he's security. I'm never gonna get back that time I spent listening Me either, to bro. that. What the Me f either. was that? <laughs> and last but not least, please, Brutal. Uh, Peter Flanagan, give us a sec. I, I'm from Ireland. I don't know if you've been to Ireland. No, no, no. Have you ever met an Irish person before? No, never. I'm actually. gonna dispel some stereotypes for you, Drewski, okay. okay? Ireland is not backward. We're very modern now. Even the Catholic Church has its own app now. Allows you to chat to your nearest Catholic priest, Drewski. It's called Grinder. <laughs> oh, That's my opening joke, my. chaps. <laughs> Ireland's a lot less racist than the UK. You have to have really high self-esteem to be racist. We've seen ourselves. Like, we know we're not part of the master race. We don't have good genetics. I'm probably getting skin cancer from that light <laughs> right now. <laughs> like, we're too pale, we're translucent. The KKK looks at Irish people and goes, too much. <laughs> That's not what we meant. You're gross. Right, that's incredible. Number four, very, very dark. The humor was dark, but yeah. I have seen that kind of banter before. And um, he's very confident. I do like Yeah, it. his I delivery was like, good. Time we vote out two people. I'm going to go with either four or five is the comedian for sure. I'm locking it in early so that you can't come for me like saying like, oh, you, you predicted it too late. I actually am going to go with four because even though five did decent, four just had the best presence, like delivery, presence, energy, confidence. That guy does this. People, I say we bring back Gabriel 
you know, g give oh, us some hope. No. Why, wait, why would we give him why? back? Why would we no. bring him back? No, we bring him back to then to vote too out. He's been short off camera. Starting from <laughs> Kenny, actually. You know what? I'm going to vote for Obama. Sorry, man. You know what? You guys are getting the two black people out? <laughs> why are we getting the only two black people out of here? We might need to keep Obama. Give him a second chance. He got Obama. something in his bag. Oh, why is he holding his, 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 his thigh like that? Like he's got something. <laughs> Just in case. He's going to take it out his last bitch. I'm going to vote out. Brashil. I, th I think he had something about me, to be fair. Come on, that was a good one. My brother from British scared. Columbia, Tyson Bradley, even though I do really like you, man. I I've got to go with my twin, too, as well. Tyson Bradley, I'm sorry. Like the guys are about to take out number one, but I can't let them knowing that I've seen him in a comedy club. So at this point, I have to let him know, and hopefully, we can keep him in. Tyson Bradley. Now, here's a little plot twist for you guys. I actually filmed a video once at a comedy club, and I saw Tyson Bradley on the stage. Wait, what? It wasn't a big, big comedy club. I mean, I can't rule him out for being the first. Yes, yes. with that knowledge. My Brazilian uh -huh. brother. Sorry, man. It's, I'm gonna have to vote for you. Based off what Nico told me, I'm gonna have to take you out, man. Sorry. But I do think you're funny, though. You are, you are funny. You are All funny. right, we only brother. have four remaining. That was quick, Brazil. guys. A quick the joke's done. shutdown. Uh, the Brazilian guy's not actually a comedian. I saw him in Subway earlier. He was serving me. Round three. <laughs> <laughs> Time to interrogate. That means he actually might be a comedian because I feel like comedians, like, it's so hard to actually make a living, so you might have like a side gig. <laughs> I'll go first. Uh, Green, have you ever dated a black woman? Yeah. yeah. Did she say the N word? Was she able to say? Not around me, no. <laughs> not around. Who the f are you to be saying not around me? Who made this guy the president? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> not around me, no. <laughs> I don't know if not he's telling me. the truth. You got a slave master way of saying it, talking about not by, not round me, not by me. <laughs> what you? I didn't even think of that. Have you ever had a joke that fell flat? Like Ooh, that's you got cool. heckled so bad. If so, what was it? Uh, so I was doing this uh, this YouTube shoot with Beta Squad, and I tried to tell <laughs> a joke that has typically worked in other contexts, and it fell flat. I tell you that right now. <laughs> I got heckled once. I've been heckled a few times. Good. <laughs> good. Good. I was talking about feeling tired and one of the hecklers said, yeah, we're all tired of your performance. And I got him kicked out by the security guards. So you couldn't take a joke? Yeah. You're going to have to take a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the air right oh, This no. joke in particular, they, they almost chased me out of town with pitchforks. I said, Prince Harry and Meghan have pet names for each other. Harry calls Meghan Cinderella because she married a prince. And Meghan calls Harry Jesus because no one knows who his real dad is. They did not like that at all. He didn't, he didn't find out what funny I'm yeah. right there. Because yeah. one thing about <laughs> comedians, they don't laugh at other comedians' jokes all the time. Really? Kept a straight face along this whole entire road we've been down. <laughs> Sammy, what was your worst joke? My worst joke? Oh, like, yeah, by the audience. Yeah, no Should I do it? I mean, yeah. Uh, if, uh, it hasn't worked. Yeah, so I was in Ansel the other day and I was looking at one of the shelves and they had like toys, dummies, nappies, diapers on the shelf. And the next to it, they had Rehypnol. I thought that's a bit weird for Asda to sell. And I looked up and it turned out I was in the paedophile. No one has ever laughed at that joke, but I quite like it. Well, when did you realize you were funny? Or oh, no, think you were funny. Well, I mean, actually ever since childhood. So I would go to school and I would bring a fake uh, plastic microphone and I would do stand-up sets. And I just loved entertaining people and making them laugh. Um, yeah, I was the class don't clown. Ask him, don't ask him, ask him. <laughs> don't ask him. He didn't realize he, old. he, he, he didn't realize was funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah Obama, keep quiet. Move on, move on to the next person. You're Obama's not funny, bro. Obama's done, bro. Listen, I've already voted for you. I don't even know why you're still there. Pia? When I was a kid, you know, you're making jokes in school, around the house. Uh, I got laughed at a lot in school, people laughing at me, so I tried to just spin it to my advantage, really. Can Those are the best their comedians. Inspiration? Who's their favourite comedian of all time? Andy Kaufman. Yes. Don't know. Guy. Mine's the king, Eddie Murphy. Solid answer. I really like a Scottish comedian, Frankie Boyle. Oh, Don't yeah. Norm MacDonald, he's a... Canadian old person. It's a good question as well, because maybe like you see their style if they've taken yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you see what? bits of uh, Eddie Murphy? I, I actually have a question. At what age did each of you lose your virginity? You can start what? <laughs> it's a, it's a comedy How question. How's that going to help us? I don't know what it is with Drewski. I think he's just horny. The reason I ask is because I can smell it on him. Ain't nobody on this lineup right here done had no coochie yet. Because if you're funny, you can get pussy. That's a big assumption on your part. He's trying to say he's still a legend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't Obama. no way. I was 15. <laughs> isn't that illegal? I can't even Wait, isn't that. that illegal? It's not even believable. Look at the way he says it. How, how old are you? 16. Oh, he what? changed it. He changed it. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's illegal. <laughs> Number three is involved in some nefarious acts. He was sweating. I said, 15. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on, bro. Choose a number. He's so one thing number three didn't know is that I am a detective in my spare time, and one of the common signal nonces is that numbers don't mean nothing to them. And I'm seeing that right here with number three, Obama, Monty, Mr. Flanagan, 18. There we go. Samuel, 19. My issue now is I find all of them funny. Yeah. Yes. yeah What's your biggest gig slash show that you've done? What was it like? The Comedy Store, um, with about 300 people there. So my biggest gig was last year at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. It was 300 people the, there. The cringe, the cringe Festival? No, the Fringe, Fringe. <laughs> the Cringe Festival? I'd see him at the Cringe <laughs> Festival. Most that important gig to me was probably last year at the Edinburgh Fringe. I did a month there doing a show every night. That was very important to me. You guys were at the same uh, festival? So. Yeah, we must have missed each other. <laughs> <laughs> You can't miss seeing you. I don't care what happens now. Number three is my favorite. This guy is hilarious. I think he's a genius. You yeah. three are f***ing incredible. You need to lighten up though, man. <laughs> she needs to lighten up. No, no. You know, he's my goat. You know, you, <laughs> that's my goat. Upset hey. since the second you walked in. What's the biggest gig you've done? Uh, up the Creek in Greenwich. Do you know up that club? Up the Creek, I've done that. Of all the comedians around you right here, which one is your favorite? Oh, good question. I think anyone can have potential. They could all uh, be good. Uh, <laughs> if they just keep practicing, you know? I think Peter has the most potential. I think um, if you stick at it, you'll, you'll be really good. <laughs> it's the case. No, I can't lie to you. Yada is funny, well, like. He said, yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're It's funny because, yeah, this guy's funny, um, but not like... It doesn't seem like he would be up on stage telling jokes as like a comedian. Like I don't, I couldn't see him having good stage presence. But in this moment, he has said a lot of funny things. Talking to a professor, the same. <laughs> so that it's he's confusing. Just looking, at looking him up and down. Yeah, like looking him up and down as well. Biting his lip as well. That's it. Mm. <laughs> I think uh, Yarda is remarkable. I think I think it's really funny. He's he's really funny. Are you there? Can I? Are we gonna make <laughs> out? <laughs> Number two is funny in like a weird way, like you don't expect. Do you know what I mean? It's time we vote someone out. I don't know, man. I can't. I can't really decide. I feel like, I feel like they're all funny in their own way. Mm -hmm, we have to make a choice. How about we take two out in the next round? What are we saying? We do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Loads. Because right. it's so, it's so close. I, I, I don't know. It's hard to choose. I get. It, I hear it. It's I, very hard to choose. I agree. To be fair, the next round is a roast where they roast us. So we hear their roasts and then we do a double skates. All right, cool. I mean, yeah? I'm, I mean, I'm down to do that because I think they're all hilarious. I want to hear this. I decided to keep them all in, you know, and vote two out in the next round because I think it's just too hard. It's too close. Kenny's absolutely mm -hmm. capitulated and not voted for anyone. But to be honest, I back it because I'm looking forward to hearing everyone's roasts. So round I love four, a good roast. We're getting roasted. I'm excited. Oh my God. Here we go. Might as well just go in number order. All right. <laughs> No, it's good. Uh, it's uh, it's nice to see that uh, Poundland had a suit sale. So uh, very very happy about <laughs> that. Poundland. Uh, far from the one guy that couldn't afford Poundland. So uh, well done on that. Uh, yeah, it's good. Actually, last time I saw Nico uh, doing stand up, you weren't that funny. And so it's good to see that some things never change. Number one hasn't said anything funny this whole video, and he's a comedian. I'm not a comedian. I've never claimed to be a comedian. I'm not funny. Yeah. So you're failing at your job. And you know what? You're lucky I don't take things personal, you stupid prick. You dick. I'm just wondering though, if, if all of your guys' moms got together and decided that you had to bring along that one, you know, brother that's not really supposed to be part of the beta squad, you know, AJ over here. So <laughs> glad that your mom forced you to come out tonight. Chunks, I love you. I'm not gonna go hard. I love the fact that, uh, that the most viral thing about you is your laugh. Um, Fair more, enough. More viral than any joke that you've ever the, the attempted squeal. to make. Kenny, uh, you seem like a nice guy. I'd really love to see you uh, get your ass kicked in a YouTube fight one day. Oh, damn. Okay, that was deep. <laughs> wow, that was here we go. deep. I'll take you guys one by one. Not like that. Yeah, okay. that one sounds right, crazy. Right, right. Yeah, that, that, yeah you didn't have to say it no like diddy. that. No diddy. AJ, you look easy to draw. <laughs> he is. He is. It's funny you say that I'm easy to draw, number three, because I literally drew you in my interview right now. I just finished right now, look. You little pussy. Nico, I always wondered what a giraffe would do if they started a YouTube channel, and now we know. You're calling me a giraffe as a roast. Giraffes are cool. You're <laughs> roasting me for being six foot five. <laughs> Thanks, man. Chunks, I know you said you <laughs> like me, but you're a singing merchant. Fez, I am. If you didn't know how to sing, you'd still be working at the cinema with AJ. Great. Oh. Oh. With AJ. Oh. Were they wow. actually at the cinema? Why did you come back to me? Chunks. I think your looks make up for your entertainment value. <laughs> oh, wow. Dang. Ouch, man. Wow. Am I, am I that boring? He's still Kenny, pretty good, actually. My brother, I think you should leave the beta squad, but I think you should join the side men. 
because I think you have years of experience as the beta squad side man. It doesn't mean it. it doesn't no, mean he, he, he meant that one. He meant that one. I'm that sorry, I'm just saying the there's a reason guy. you're on the end. Yo, this is getting personal, man. I was just hit me as well, bro. You know that one was personal? And I'm talking to you, James, because it's like, at the end of the day, why would production allow someone to come onto the show like that to violate me? I don't know. Generally, I took that one to heart. This is absolutely <laughs> terrifying. I don't, I don't fully understand why I'm here or how I ended up here. I feel uh, Drewski is probably asking himself the same question. Like, Drewski has worked with Drake. He's worked with Snoop Dogg. Nah, nah, he's worked nah. with J. Cole. And today, he's working in an industrial estate in Wimbledon. Uh, <laughs> like, something has gone seriously <laughs> Here, Drewski. You, how do you go from working with Drake to working with the Brazilian guy who looks like Jesus with long COVID? Like you, you have f***ed up. I, 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 you need to fire your manager. Something's gone wrong. I, like I presume the only reason you're here is to eat AJ, or maybe you're here to. F I don't know. No, I love these dudes, man. They cool, man. Uh, Shiki, the tall one. Shiki? Who's uh, Shiki? Uh, Philly, he cool too, he was here. AJ, hey, what are you doing here? I mean, if you're here, like who is the Wolf of Wall Street throwing at a dartboard? I don't get it. Kenny, I'm not being paid enough to roast a professional boxer to his face. I will say that you do seem like you sniffed a lot of glue when you're in school. <laughs> so what? I'm, not, I'm not gonna roast you. But while I roast your friends, maybe someone could get Kenny some coloring books and some crayons. <laughs> I don't want him to be bored. <laughs> While we take care of business here. What a weirdo, how did he know that? So? Sharky, uh, you said you recognized me. And I think I've figured out why. I, I Googled you. Uh, you are the oldest of seven children. I am, yeah. Yeah, you are a deeply closeted Irish Catholic. That's, we, I, we've matched on Christian Mingle, I'm sure of it. Like, keep an eye on him, he is a pedophile in the making, I promise you. Wow. He's a wrong one. Yes, I've got something Ooh. different. <laughs> Bang, I'm not boring. I'm the making. I'm a pedophile. Shit. No, that's not good. Nico, Cut that. <laughs> you're amazing. You're amazing. You got the leader of the KKK to say Black Lives Matter, but you have not been able to get your father to say, son, I'm proud of you. Uh, <laughs> well, Dang. Peter Flanagan, that's where you're wrong because my dad's very proud of me and I'll prove it. Hello, my father. I've got something I wanted to say to you. So a comedian just said to me that you aren't proud of me. <laughs> well, he's right. <laughs> and your breath stinks. What I told fuck? you not to call me, okay? What, but I, you, I, I love you, though. I, I love you. Well, I told you not to call me. Trumps, your last bro. I, wonder if that's I think really you're sad. amazing too. You look fantastic. Doesn't it look fantastic? He does, yeah. He, you does. Know, he does look fantastic. He does. Great, You've great. had more of a glow up than Shamima Bijam. You look fantastic. <laughs> Who's that? Really? <laughs> now, in fairness, <laughs> that's, a, that's a long one. In fairness to Shamima, her transformation was natural. Chunks, you've had more work done than Mia Khalifa. <laughs> oh, what the <laughs> shit? <laughs> but you look fantastic, and thank you for letting me be here, guys. All right, cheers. Wow. His presence oh, is the best, for oh. sure. Okay, Peter Flanagan. Yeah, stop that because I've never done anything in my life. I'm <laughs> seeing people on Ozempic, is that what it's called? Ozempic, Ozempic. Well, I have never done that in my life. Yeah, it was pure Ozen hard work determination. The most Ozen work I've done is my teeth. I've been Invisalign. <laughs> no composite bonding, no veneers. Please put respect to my name. I actually worked hard for this. Even though I'm, kind of, I'm big again, I don't know what you got. Leave me alone. Drewski, how's it going, man? How's it going? When you graduated college, you were scamming people, right? You were a scammer. What the fuck? No? When the f are you scaring anybody? You were scamming people, no? That's what some interview said, no? Okay, we can skip that joke, that's cool. Um... <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no, say the joke that you're gonna say with that. Okay, so after college, you were scamming people, which I think is pretty Matter fucked fact, up. Matter the joke. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> next joke, don't. That might be true, that's what I said. It could be next true, he said. <laughs> I just wanna clear the rumors. I ain't had nothing to do. I ain't do no, anything that happened in my pet. Well, let me not address it like that. Yeah, let's just cut the whole, let's cut let's the whole thing Let's just cut this whole episode. Just cut it. We could cut that, right? Somebody else. Oh, it's in there. Uh, yeah, we ain't got to talk about that. Yeah, legally, we'll talk. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, thank y'all. Drewski's delivery can be funny. In 2021, Nico came fifth place in the London mayoral election. 
which is actually higher than you score in the beta squad, so that's uh, pretty surprising. <laughs> you fight harder than me, Kenny, you know. You fight almost as hard as you do to scrape 100k views on your YouTube channel. If I win tonight, I'm gonna celebrate pretty hard. I'm gonna celebrate almost as hard as I did when I thought AJ was leaving. Good reference. I'll celebrate that. Hey, you've done your research. I don't know what's hurting your back more, carrying the beta squad or your tits. <laughs> oh, he's that heavy. <laughs> he's that heavy. I tried to write a joke about Sharky. But you're actually too boring to make a funny joke about, so I haven't been bothered. But I would have preferred like this. So let's leave it there. Thank you guys. Cheers. Thank you. Genuinely, I kind of think I saw him shaking a little bit, like the mic. Um, which, <laughs> for the record, most people would be, but only because I think it's got to be number four still. Like he wasn't shaking. He didn't need to read it. He was witty. He was on the fly. He's working the the room. Like it, if it's not four. This is the most confident I've ever been, so I will be very disappointed if I'm wrong. I feel hurt. I I've feel never hurt. gone so I'm hard. Right. His roast was solid. Wow. I can't lie, your roast was the roastiest. We've just got a few more questions, man. Please. Nah, can you please take that out, though? Can you please take that out? We'll, we'll think about taking it out, yeah, but please. <laughs> All right. We've got a All few right. more questions. What did you think of that guy's roast? Uh, oh, yeah, it's, no. Next question, man. Next question. What I gather from there is everyone's a comedian. It's just that one of them is professional. Yeah, yeah really. I think they're all because pretty can help. good. Everybody has their own way. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, though, Yada, you could have gone harder than that. It was too nice. It was too nice. I think it's because he likes I'm with us. you. I'm with you. But we still have to remove two people here. So it's time. Start with you, AJ. Let's go. You two. Sorry. I completely agree with uh, I agree. what AJ just said. I'm sorry, Tyson. You know we go way back. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Those are the two weakest links here. I, um... <laughs> Tony and uh, Yarda. <laughs> Tyson, Tyson. Tyson, Tyson. Tony, Tony and Yarda. Yeah. I'm going to say, I'm going to go for Yarda and Samuel. I want to vote for the two people that roasted me the most, Yarda and Samuel. Even though oh. Peter, you called me a pedophile. But I think I'd rather be called a pedophile than boring. So Yarda, yeah, that's, that's not a better what? man. Yeah, Yarda and Samuel. That's not a better man. Wait, hold on, what? I'm going to vote for Tyson, sorry, and Obama. That means that there's four votes okay. on uh, Tyson, and there's actually Good six call, guys. votes on the <laughs> other. Uh, so it shows that you probably just you know, I mean, fell for at the end. But it's absolutely fine. Guys, round of applause. Round of applause. Here we go, final it's round. It's time for round five, where the comedians are going to be roasting each other. Oh, oh. I, I'll hear him first, because I, I, I like when he gets mad. <laughs> <laughs> His rebuttal is pretty crazy. Now I'm excited. Two comedians left, and they have to roast each other. And all we get to do is sit back and watch. I think Peter Flanagan is going to flipping tear him in the You guys have been trying to go. figure out which one of us is a comedian. I've spent the last couple of hours trying to figure out which one of these guys is my Uber driver. Credit to the crew <laughs> who've assembled a very diverse group of incels. <laughs> oh my like, God. You guys probably haven't been able to smell it from there, but the smell of stale <laughs> semen is intoxicating. I think I'm high on cum. <laughs> Sam, I'm happy you're here. Because if you're here, that means somewhere there's a school without a shooter. And that's good. <laughs> that's good. You do give me the vibe of like, Yo. if Lord Farquaad. We're going back, because that's another good bash. But that was crazy, genuinely crazy. I, I mean, somewhere there's a school without a shooter. And wow. That's good. <laughs> that's, that's good. Wow. You do give me the vibe of like, if Lord Farquaad did gay porn, <laughs> that's your energy. <laughs> and I think that's wonderful. Gay porn. And it's wonderful. been a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. Thank you. Yeah. You just witnessed the murder. Because I did think he looked kind of school shooterish. I'm on it, like, genuinely. <laughs> so that was a And he said, a gay Lord Farquaad. Do you know how funny that is? That's really Fair good. Fair play, man. Yeah. Hey, give us that savage. How are we doing? We're doing well? Good, you shouldn't be. I haven't actually paid to see you do stand up, but I have seen some of your Instagram clips, and I don't think I've seen an Irishman bomb harder since the 1980s. Oh my Ooh. God. Did you grow up in Ireland? I did. Were you Catholic growing up? Yes. Wow, that's funny, because you look like an abuse victim, but you also look like an abuser at the same time, which is quite the achievement. You're Irish. <laughs> uh, that's uh, a bit of a hack joke, I guess. So, um, are you an alcoholic? Because uh, you fucking should be. I mean, NT, NT. Sam is not even roasting anyone. I think he's just literally bringing up child trauma. 
what is going on? Someone check on this guy, please. We need to start doing like assessments on people before. What's going on? You know, okay, let me tell you one thing about Sammy, man. He's dark. He just, it's just, he means what he says. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he does. I think he does. Wait, wait, so are you saying, are you saying that the scamming thing is true? No, nah, I'm not saying that. No, I, and I think we should still take that out. I think, but uh, yeah, nah. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll, we'll work it out. Yeah, we'll but if, it, if it's if it's yeah. not true, then it's like no, no, there's no, no need to come out. I'm saying let's move on. From oh, that. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna start with Drewski. Drewski. So Drewski, who do you think the comedian is? As I think he is very funny looking. Yeah. <laughs> I do think he's great on his toes. You can tell that. Yeah. He's, yeah. yeah he's, a, he's, a good, he's good. Skilled comic. Yeah. So I gotta give it to my guy right here, Flanagan. Uh -huh. uh, Flanagan's yeah. the okay. go. I think that Flanagan is absolutely class. So, Sometimes you see a little spark Sparks. in a bottle. Out of him. My boy Samuel, Dang. my brother, and I have to say that I'm I think shocked. you are the comedian. I'm wow. gonna go with Flanagan. I think they're both very funny, not gonna lie. Samuel surprised me a lot. In terms of charisma and stage presence, I'm gonna go with Peter. I think you're you're the comedian. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, from the very first round when I saw all five of them, and it hasn't changed once throughout this whole video, so I'm gonna say true to myself and I'm gonna say Peter is a comedian. The thing is, I think they both could be comedians. I wouldn't be shocked either or. But he's, he's also very good. Uh, yeah, he's very good. But I think it's just the deadpan. For me, I, just, I was just a bit scared. So that is five votes for let's Mr. Flanagan and on. one vote for Samuel. Now let's bring I'm everyone right. back in and find out if you're all right. For once, I'm right. <laughs> it's How, my I thought day. Gabriel got taken out and executed. All right, so five of us have voted for Peter. So Peter, if you have tricked us and you win a thousand, Smackaroonies. No so, fucking way. Will the real comedian please step forward? The video is gonna end right here. I'm telling you guys, I'm hitting stop recording if it's not Peter. I can't live like this. Gabriel, Gabriel, you stay there. You stay Gabriel, there. you stay there. Oh. Oh! Yeah, let's go. Yay! What Let's a go. guy. Yes! We got it! That means we keep the thousand! <laughs> almost a clean sweep. I don't think in Beta Squad history, we've almost had a clean sweep like that. You know, this might be the first time ever. We that always get great. it right, baby. We always get it right. Peter Flanagan, the comedian. You voted for the other guy. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. We keep you did. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> wait. No, wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, we have a smile. What's Let's that? Go. Huh? Where's the money gone? Where's the money? Nah, yeah, yeah. He we'll stole it. Him, Where'd the money go? Let's talk about the comedian that won. Everybody clap it up, clap it up. Let's talk about the comedian that won. Let's talk about the comedian. All right, we just got robbed, but um, talk to us. You professional comedian, right? How long you been doing it for? About eight years. Professionally? Professionally about four now. You could tell. Very, very good. You could tell. Yeah, you, you could tell. Can for four tell. years, that's solid. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I, I do comedy full time, but I also do have some side hustles on the side, so technically not fully pro yet. I do stand up yeah. sometimes, yeah, but I give up because my material is a bit dark. What do you say? More Portuguese, more Portuguese. Yeah. More high up, <laughs> yeah, we'll do subtitles. He, <laughs> thank yeah. you, sir. He thinks yeah. you're speaking thank another you, language. For coming. All right, thank you. So I don't do any stand up at all. I'm just a post-grad student. Samuel? Uh, I am a comedian, but not professionally, no. Are you all right, you can tell, great, you can tell, you can definitely Bro, you're tell. Great. And then Gabriel, how long have you been a, a stylist? You said a stylist? Yeah, because <laughs> 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 he's, he's not a comedian. Not a no experience in stand-up comedy at all. Um, we know. I just want to say thank you so much to Kudruski <laughs> for actually uh, being on this. Was this probably the biggest thing you've ever done in your life? Greatest thing he's ever done, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Money. Thanks. Uh, and with that being said, Drewski, any last words? Play the trailer. Ladies and gentlemen, there is oh. no trailer this week, Why? unfortunately. Why? Why is there no Why? Trailer? We're going to be taking a break. It's needed. Cap. Really? I feel like. Who needs it? We all do. I feel like we're Cap. burnt out. The speak ideas. For speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. I don't <laughs> Fair enough. You know what? You, you speak then. No f***ing bid. Help well, you speak. Ah. Well, you... So, guys, there is no trailer this week, and that is because we have something to tell you. After two years and four months of consistency, we've decided to take a break. We feel like the break is needed because you know, we true. need to take a step back to work out a way where we can improve the quality of the videos. If, if, generally, if this was up to me, this is how it'd go. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, guys. We really appreciate all your continued support over the years, and hopefully we I come back this is real. with some better videos for you guys. And also, <laughs> can you get us 10 more as well as we take our break? Give us a break when we're not doing nothing. <laughs> Give us something we don't deserve. How about that? And Chunks will say something else. Yeah, take care. 
And um, Trunks wanted to focus on Trunks to finish her. <laughs> yeah, good one. <laughs> That's the end. Finito. Oh. Fin. <laughs> Little sound effect to finish. Well, hopefully we'll be back. This feels like, like slight deja vu, so... No fucking way. Bring it in. All right, goodbye. <laughs> we will return. Dude, I'm shocked. I thought it was going to be troll. I don't know why. I should have prefaced with the fact that I love comedians and I love roasts. So this video was so up my alley. I did not know there would be roasting too. So that was just like a double win. I also had a little bit of a suspicion that I'd actually get this one right once I realized that like I've watched enough comedians that I should be able to tell. Um, so I'm just glad that I lived up to my own expectations in the end. God bless. They did such a good job with finding people who were still funny to make it a little bit confusing. And it kind of shows you, to, or at least it showed me the difference between a professional and someone who doesn't do it professionally. Because I do think that that Peter guy seemed above and beyond the rest of the group. Even though they were still funny, it just was obvious to me like his presence was unmatched and way better than the others in the group. I'm not sure when I'll see Drewski again. I don't really watch a lot of content related to him, but I do know now that he seems like a funny and cool guy. So it was cool to see a little bit more of him and as always more of the beta squad. This was definitely my favorite so far in this series. Not just because I got it right, but because yeah, I love comedy. So this was a very good one for me. So glad I decided to watch it. If you enjoyed watching alongside me, please like this video, drop me a comment and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys on the next video.